I don't know if he's doing that as like a drunk trope. Not sure when these cooking videos come out. That's me watching my um, cooking video when I was drunk. It's fun. Anyway, uh, I've had this tab open for a while now. And it's buttermilk fried chicken. And the guy toasted that picture and I'm like, Oh, I love you. Marry me. Marry me, chicken. You look fucking good. And judging by the amount of oil he has in his pan... I can do this. So marinate a whole cut up chicken. I bought um, drum quarters. I bought thigh and leg quarters. Uh, marinate it in, a, in buttermilk for five hours or overnight. I did it overnight. Some people would season the buttermilk, which I would do, but did not this time. I did season it, but only after I found out that this was still open. Basically red pepper flake, uh, some salt and some regular pepper, maybe a little onion powder, I think. I did it last night. Um, blah, blah, blah. Mix together all, mix together two cups of all-purpose flour with a, one to two tablespoons of salt, pepper, and one tablespoon of onion powder, and a one tablespoon of baking powder. Coat the marinated chicken in all-purpose flour until it's coated. Heat vegetable oil on a cast iron skillet with a 350. Place chicken into the heated oil. Uh, do not overcrowd the pan. Cook all the meat until they each internal temperature 170. Crush the chicken should be golden brown. This is the color of the chicken. Now cook the oil, turn on the heat, overcook, blah, 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 blah. Enjoy. So... Hi, Chewbacca. You always make fart noises. I gotta put some groceries away at some point. Here's my chicken. You're my nonstick pan, you're done. I think I'm still recovering from that goddamn drunken nightmare. I might take days. I have no tolerance. Now, my cast iron, uh, ooh, chocolate milk. Mm. I've already got some oil in here from the last time I used it. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a little more oil. Well, let's turn it on first. And this is probably going to take, well, it's 350, so... I don't have a candy thermometer, so we're going to use this to determine 350. I'll add some more, and then I'll take out, oh, it's going to have to be one leg quarter at a time. Pretty sure that's what I'm looking at here. Because, uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, you big. And I did, when I seasoned them, I, I rotated them. So they've got, they've all got a beautiful, beautiful coating of They've been soaking in buttermilk. And the uh, white meat chicken will absorb. There's four of them in here. There's three. One, two, three. There's the fourth one. Get out. Oh, and I um I trimmed off the extra fat. And then I put my fingers under the skin. I actually loosened the skin. I separated the skin from the meat. Got my fingers all the way in there. And I poured the buttermilk mixture in it before I added it to the thing. So... Yeah, yeah, fucking yeah. These are gonna have to be one at a time. Uh, oh, and instead of flour, instead of doing the flour mixtures from scratch, I have this stuff and I'm just gonna tweak it a bit, which is Aunt Autry's uh, chicken seasoning breading mix. So let's see, I'm probably gonna put this in a container. Probably the bigger one. Yeah, this is what I'm looking at. I'm gonna leave half of it in the bag in case I need, in case I don't use it all. Now I like spicy and salty. So we're just gonna add a little more salt to this. We're gonna add a lot of this to it. Now this is red pepper flake in my grinder from Ikea, and it makes it just ever so much smaller. I could probably crank it down another notch. Really get rid of some of those bigger chunks. My uncle, who's a foodie, uh, got to use my cousins, and he's like, who's that? Where'd you get that grinder? Get me one. I'm like, it's Ikea. I'm like, get me one. I'm like, I live two hours away from where you live. Get me one. So I'm have to go and get some. What do you say, onion powder? And let's break up some of these chunks. Mm. All right, 
I gotta add more oil to that before I'm adding cold oil to hot oil and I feel like that's bad. I feel like that's some sort of um, bad kitchen trope that I should avoid. And never put my cast iron down on my cutting board. Because if it's water there, it'll rust immediately and it'll stain. Be right back. Oh, clear liquid shortening. Which I get by the fucking truckload for the big fryer. But this is a lot easier than, use, than whipping out the big fryer. So that's been filled. We can see. I don't want to bread these till those are <laughs> breeding my chickens. Uh, 146. I literally just added the cold oil. And it's still at 146 average. So the entree, this is going to go... Kind of want to do a mess here and leave this because this actually has like clean food on it. What am I making with my chicken? Let's um a salad, sausages, bologna, the terrible monster cheese. I think I'm just making fried chicken. I make mac and cheese. Well, I should. You know what? I bought I bought this super green rotini. Made with spinach, zucchini, broccoli, parsley, and kale. Curl girl, you hear me? She knows who she is. And I think I'm going to do like a Parmesan sauce. I have half an Alfredo in there, yes. This is the pot I would use, fuck. All right. All right, I got this. Zeus got this. Zeus always got this. That is, we'll all learn this real quick. I'm gonna make half a pound of this and I'll even measure the half pound so that I know that it's all I'm on a diet, obviously. If I'm measuring things, I'm counting calories. Four, five, six thousand. Sounds good. Alright. I really want to put this in the back burner, which is a large one. Okay, rear on high and I know you're not supposed to salt water till it's boiling so that it boils faster But I'll forget So do it now better better to salt early and have it last take longer to do than to forget you to salt and that's the worst Crime aunt cherry aunt my aunt who is a food scientist doesn't salt her water and I'm like how? How you were the chosen one. It's that whole fucking leaving my sister is just like oh my god our poor aunt doesn't salt her water why? Why would you do this to me? You have to salt your water. That's the whole point. So that makes it, you season your pasta. You have to season the pasta. The pasta needs to be seasoned. What temperature do you think we're at? Because that's going to take whatever that takes. And this is getting, you know, 190. What does that smell? Blow into the burners. If you have these old style burners, A, they work better than the flat tops. And, oh, but they're so hard to clean. Uh, you clean between them and then you replace these things for $15 every, I would say every six months if you really want it to look nice. Because every year is a long time. And this one's already pretty much destroyed and this one doesn't look that bad, but I don't take it out to clean it. Like I don't put it in the sink to clean it. And I cook often. All right, we're at 200 degrees. I gotta get to 350. We can measure pasta in the interim. So I guess first thing we do, assuming the weight of the box, and I always do this in, what? The battery dying? What is wrong with you? Please don't be dying. What are you doing? Are you borked? Did you go bork? That means bork. Shit. Bork shit. Oh, there's a screw holding the battery in place. All right, that means we're going to, um, oh, we're going to fucking wing it. Like old school Z reviews. I figure if I'm going to do like a super, like I'd probably do some butter on it. Oh, those are really green. They don't smell very different. Three serving of vegetables per three and a half ounce portion. How many portions are in this? 
six. Jesus. It's just servings of vegetables now at this point. All right, I'll be back when that's ready. 355, 356, 360. All right, we're there. Now, it's probably still warming up. That's almost at a boil, so let's get this first one in to the flour. I did a, I did a bad. I did this thing where I committed to picking up the dripping buttermilk chicken, and it, this is like the most dramatic thing in a movie ever. I'm not putting down the chicken, you fucking crazy. There we go. What kind of Z cooks would this be if I put the chicken down? God, go back to your fucking binging with Babish. Although he's pretty good. I like him. He does good things. Right, get you nice and fucking flowery. Mike flowery. Great. So that's going to start to boil just as I'm like... Oh, oh this is why I hate flour. Now, uh, the secret is to not leave a lot of flour on there. Shake off as much as possible. Get a good coating. But, all right, you calm the fuck down. We're going skin side down. Oh, there's like a spot right there. That needs it. Give it a tap. Give it the tap. Okay. Now, I'm only using half the fucking pasta. Yeah, I get it. We'll check your temperature in a second. Holy shit, I used most of the pasta. Oh. Fucking pound, a fucking pound. A oh, 12 ounces, all right. That ain't so bad. That's what threw me off. I put exactly eight ounces of pasta in there. My magic fucking scale hands knew that it wasn't 16. It was like, oh, you're putting eight ounces of this of this box. I didn't weigh the box. It just um, there's no point in me washing my hands because I'm gonna take that out. I'm gonna go on a drying rack. I should have thought of this. Again, Z cooks represent. What is Z Cooks all about? Um, not being prepared for shit, mostly. Move, move. I put some cans away. Move. Need you. I'm gonna make chocolate pudding at some point. You move. I was gonna do something with these chicken pieces and a cream of chicken soup. Maybe some mushrooms on it. I should probably put down a layer of foil. Use my expensive nonsense. Where the fuck is my standard bullshit coil? That's got a while. I don't want to get chicken hands one-handed. This is learning to be a cripple with Theo's. One-handed person. My counters are cutting boards. Mm. Are your counters made of cutting board? No? Then you made the wrong decision in your life. Well, that's gonna get stuck. I'm never gonna be able to open my cabinet again. Oh, it might still happen. We'll find out. Gonna flip it though. Oh. That is looking beautiful. Where's my insta And throw you in my mouth. Okay, there's no meat there. No, 88 degrees. So, I could actually really leave it right like that. Because it's not affecting it. 93, 94, 95. It's going up slow enough that I know that's in a good part of the chicken. And it's going through the top, so there's no oil affecting the actual thing. This is good. Stir this. Did I ever start my eight minute timer? Hell no. That would have been too easy. Reset. Make it a six minute timer. Raise you back up a little more so you boil harder. Oh, let's check our temperature. 345, 336. 
it'll recover. 349. I mean, it's literally like that much might affect the whole thing. When this hits 170 on this side, I'm going to pull that piece off. I'm going to pull it out slowly and see if it changes, and then I'll pull it out. Because I know the first quarter inch, at least on this side, is caught. I'm, I'm in a good spot. I hope we can do this for all four pieces. Where I can actually judge. Because that's ideal. I shoved it in there, and it's like, you're low. You're at 88 degrees. So, all right. This is why it's going to be all right. Because in six minutes, that pasta will be done, and I'm going to need to drink more chocolate milk. In the double line glass, I will link on Amazon if I watch this whole video. Best thing ever. Mm. What else should I have? Pasta. Veggie pasta with cheese and chicken. Cream corn, nah. Like if I had fresh carrots. I do have some fresh carrots. Mmm. Alright. Since I have four pieces of chicken to cook, when this one's done, get the second one in, wash this hand. It's drying nicely. I'm gonna throw some of those carrots on a paper, on a plastic, uh, on a plate, a real plate, put them in the microwave covered in tin foil. 140, 141, 142, 143, we're going good actually. It was only 12 ounces that should fit in this. Which is lame. I hate, I hate like non-pound boxes. What are you guys? 16. 16. By the way, Geminelli is usually what I would use for this type of dish, but I'm going with vegetables. I love the straight cut ziti. Straight cut ziti, no ridges. I know it doesn't hold sauce, fuck you. Meze penny, because they're smaller. I would take those without ridges as well. I never had hush puppies in my life, so uh, apparently Tony Karakuris is gonna Karakuri. I don't know. And look at that. I feel I feel like I'm on a diet already. Come on, you got this. 151. How is our oil temp? <laughs> I got beets. Oh, 360, 370. Yeah, a little bit of like. Oh, it's almost as if I was something I could tell myself to control the temperature with. It'd be great. Cooling rack there. I should actually put the cooling rack... Perfectly fine. Everything here is fine. That's fine too. Everything's fucking fine. What that cover my garbage pail? I don't need access to that anyway. Yeah, okay. Bake down. Start. I'm reading over the thing. This is bad. All right, 215 degrees. This way, I'll put the cooling rack. I'll put the drainage rack in here. Because if I'm doing four of these things, by the time I get done with the fourth one, the first one's gonna be like room temperature. 161, 162, I got a couple more degrees to go, then I can do the carrots, then I can pause this video. 163. This is not how you're supposed to use an insulary, but it happens to be working. I really need to be able to put two of these in there. I'm not sure if I could fit two, and it wouldn't matter at this point because there's three in there, so I would only lose one cooking stage. All right, you know what? Whoa, 120, we're down to 120, 119 again. Wow, this is gonna take a while. I gotta flip it over. It's gonna be 
fucking black. Oh yeah. All right, I need to lower the um, oil temperature down. Glad I checked that. Oh, that's too hot. That's too hot. What the fuck was the meat? One eighty four, one eighty, one seventy five, one seventy one. Where the fuck? All right. I can't probe it properly on this side, but I can't leave it on this side or this will just be black. I'm flipping it over. Gotta lower this temperature down. This should be done. I'm trying to feel it with my with my, with my stirrer. It feels kind of soft. Ow, I'm getting splashed with hot oil now. Good for the bedroom, not so great for the kitchen. Still hand covered in chicken shit. That's dumb. Off. Interesting flavor. Run that cold water. Go one handed lean tilt. Oh, look how much green is coming out. Rotate up. And now in this, I've got to do butter, which I guess I'm using my good butter. I have to go see if I have, I say good butter, being that uh, carry gold would be bad butter. But curry gold is just easier to get butter. That. I need milk. Non-butter milk. I bought all types of milk yesterday. I bought... Milk. I need the rest of that. No chocolate milk. Butter milk, regular milk, and chocolate milk. Those are the three milks. Fuck you. Alright. This is going to be in the oven the longest. Because it's... Oh yeah, that's dark. That's real dark. You don't want to be that dark. This is going to be sitting in this 200 degree oven for at least 20 minutes. I just dripped hot oil on my fucking foot. What'd you guys do for a living, huh? Huh? Alright. Where did my oil end up after that whole cooking process? 370! Too high. Five might be too high. I can't judge, I still can't judge this fucking oven. Well, let's cool off that oil in the most amazing way possible, i.e. adding a piece of chicken to it. Drip off that buttermilk. Down. And around. Oh, this is just melting on residual heat that burners off. That's fine. Flip, flip, flip. Shake, shake, shake. I'm gonna wash my hands after this anyway because I want to do carrots. Okay. Do the bottom side first. Okay. Ow, that was hot oil. Do there. Move my moo cow cup milk. That's too hot. Paying attention. The real problems with pacing and cooking. Sometimes you gotta take the sponge and be like, mmm, scrub my hands off because there's sticky, sticky, gooey shit. I'm gonna add this, even though there's only butter in there. Oh, I'm gonna drop about at least half of them on the fucking stove because I'm a jackass. Stove is mostly clean, I'm gonna eat it anyway. I don't care. Now we could add the milk of glass in case we need to thin it. I shouldn't 
need the milk in my head. What was that? The oven preheated to 215. One, two throngs of cheese. Yeah, it's called a throng because I said so. The rest of this Alfredo, because I'm just never gonna use it otherwise. And I don't care if I throw it a little bit in the bottom of that. And that's covered. Like I said, it didn't matter when it was covered. There you go. Give this a toss. Just some butter. Mmm. A buttery Alfredo-y concoction. Mmm. More creamy. That's when we add the milk. I love creamy. I love creamy. I love things that are creamy. Giggity. Message. Another bit of cheese. Just to give it some sort of like texture. I'm saying words like a real chef. I cut butter with that. Your piece of pasta. This is done and just... The longer you can let this sit after doing this, by the way, the creamier it will get. So there, that's done. Sit there, ignore it. Um, carrots, kekarats, kekarato. Just a couple. These should come like you don't have to really wash these. And I'm only gonna have, even though I made a fucking three quarters of a pound of pasta. Yeah. A few more sad carrots for Steve. In my autobiography. Twist flip <laughs> locked. We're going to just. Uh, see how I put salt on that? Right, right, right. See how I put salt in that? Oh, shit. Oh, s stop it, Zeos. Are you sprinkling sugar and salt on your carrots? Are you, I'm just, you, you're a spokesperson for getting diabetes? I knew it was gonna happen. There you go. Um, I'm gonna cover it. I have to leave a little opening, so I'll add the water once I've done that. Pick up. Put down. Like a puppy. You pick it up from the vet, and then you put it down immediately for fun. You bastards. Who does that? Okay. If you've done your saran wrap right, it shouldn't matter if you turn it upside down. I'm talking like that much water. Like that's it. Just a, a modicum of the waters. Three minutes. Takes a while to do that stuff. What's my temperature at? Now they're on four. 323, that's probably where I want to be at. It's a nice rolling boil. Rotate, I think. Probably shouldn't have this sitting in there. The fuck is the end of the leg? Oh my god, that is a big piece of chicken. Come back here and stir just because you can. Look, look at it starting to cream up. The white is thickening. That's got two minutes. That's in the oven. I have to probe it again. I have to probe it again. I have to probe it again. Giggity. Okay. That fixed my, my fitment issues. It does look good. I hope it... My cousin, when he does... The my cousin Jay, who does the best turkey... I, I, I believed in like the sous vide was the best way to turn. No, my cousin does the tent method, like Alton Brown does, and he brines it. And the brine, 
on a chi on white meat, a brine is so important. And I haven't done buttermilk. This is my first thing with buttermilk. I just bought the entire thing of buttermilk and poured it in there. So it's going to be, I don't want to get it more wet. Look at this. Look at the, the amazing that's happening around on my stove. God damn. I'm, I'm turned on by this. This is a turn on. Here's my new garbage bale. Congratulations, Super Greens box. So basically, we're going to check those carrots, then I'm going to shut this off, and I will come back when everything is done and give you any imp input and pointers from what I've learned. Hi, Bok Bok! Bok Bok Bok! Bok Bok Bok! Bok 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 Bok! 30 seconds. Anything else i got to say to you? You people. I mean, I'm probably cooking the carrots a little too early. If the carrots are not done, I'm probably just going to leave them with the door open so it annoys me and then finish them off with the last, even though you're going to lose a lot of the heat. I, I know what, I'm going to finish the carrots. I'm going to cook the carrots to completion. Should I try this? I mean, this is just sitting here, but it is thickening. I can feel it's getting sticky. Mmm. Just got to prove that just because something's healthy doesn't mean it can't be good if you pile enough cheese on it. That's hot. And not Paris Hilton hot. Like fucking hot. Like Guy Fieri hot. Alright, see if we can grab one end. Far enough away, because as soon as you lift this, the steam comes out and burns your hand. So, do that. Watch the water. Get your smallest cocktail fork and just... Nope. Just nope. Like, I like a little bit of a raw carrot. That is raw. That is another two minutes at minimum. I've gotten it down for corn. Corn is three minutes, three minutes and 30 seconds. I have not done carrots in a while. So, minute, minute. That's why I love that microwave. One press, minute, minute again. Rotate you. Oh, God, you're gorgeous. How are you so pretty? Ninety-one. Ninety. Alright. Well, this is gonna take I'm gonna try to get this to like one one fifty. One forty, one fifty, then put it back in the oven. Because I don't want it to be burnt in the oil. I got two more to do in the oil and I'm ruining the oil, but like ninety-one yeah, things are gonna take a while. It, it's that's the temperature. What's the fucking time? What fucking time is it? Shit, it's a twelve fifty-eight. So that's what time it is. So we'll see how long this takes to finish. All right, I've had to add more milk. I want to keep this looking moist. Once it gets like dry and the cheese, no more milk. You can always stir it, add more milk until it's just a cream. So I've added more milk. Look, we got some down there. And this will probably need more if this chicken takes this long to cook. Carrots took another two minutes. Perfect. You can still taste that they're carrots. And the salt and sugar. Mmm, it's like taking a speedball of vegetables. This is the third piece of what's be still in there. We're at 100 degrees. I had this on a, I, I lowered the temperature of the oil. I'm pretty sure I'm modifying this recipe now. We got like 300 and it's showing 306 or a little under 300. I'm thinking like 320 degree oil is where you want to be, 325, not 370. Or you're going to get like a burnt husk. Now my oil wasn't exactly clean to start with, but like, ooh, like that's as much browning as I want on my chicken. Otherwise it looks just black. Like I got the ones in here. Like that's too dark, that was getting better, this will be even lighter. And what I'm gonna basically do is I'm going to say, finish it in the oven. Don't try to finish this in the frying pan. 
we, we were not KFC, you're not KFC. Even if my big one was on and it could hold the heat longer and faster and hotter, this is such a thick piece of chicken I'm putting in there. It, it, to, to cook it fully with oil, you have to lower the temperature down to like 275, which I don't really feel like frying at 275 for 20 minutes a piece. So I'm gonna say, I'm gonna get this, just like I did that last one, around 125, 130 internal, which is not cooked. And then just put it in the oven and give it at least a half hour in the oven. These are gonna be finished in the oven. There's no way I, I have, I don't have the patience. It's gonna take longer overall, but I, I don't wanna leave it just in the oil all the time. 108, 0 0.6, 0 0.7, 0 0.8, 0 0.9, 109. 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3. So, so slow cooking. Like if this was a thin piece of chicken, if it was less than your width of your thumb, but not my thumb, I've got a thick thumb. Girls know all about that. If it was less than the width of your thumb, you could fry it and be done. If it's like that thick, do not trust your fryer to be the one to finish that chicken off. Put it in the oven. It'll main, it'll dry it off, It'll all the oil will drip, it'll maintain that crust, and you'll get it to the temperature you need um, far less violently. And it shouldn't lose much moisture, or if any, really. Because you keep your oven low, 230, I put it to 230. You keep your oven low enough, and it's just gonna sort of like, it's gonna be like it's in the oil, but it's not. For a little bit longer time, so 213. Um, I'm gonna just keep eating this. This is really, this is a positively good meal. Mmm. There's a little bit of crunch left in the carrots. I might even say go, if you did it straight through, try four to four and a half minutes. Because I did three minutes and took it out, checked it, put it back in for two minutes. If you maintain the heat for a straight run, four minutes might be good enough. So try four minutes, four minutes and 30 seconds. I have a weak microwave, you got a stronger microwave. Try three, three and a half. Back when I've understood about this chicken. 121 on the reverse probe. I put it pretty side down. Let it sit for as long as I feel it needs. Flip it over. Then probe it immediately and just watch it. I'm pretty good at getting that probe right in the coldest spot. It dropped to 88 degrees. After four or five minutes of sitting in here on one side. So 88 degree chicken is not cooked. So now we're at 124. When that hits 130, I'll pop it in the oven. But in the interim, the first piece I went in, the most burnt one, this Sobe, has been in there a while, and I'm gonna call that as done. It's also one of the smallest ones. All these other ones are monsters. And I know you guys wanna see me try it because you have this weird fucking food fetish. All right, all right, all right. Angering the gods. I mean, that's... Ow. That is still relatively hot. And by relatively, I mean fucking. What does relatively mean? Fucking hot. Ugh. I'm just gonna break it. Oh, Jesus. I'm looking right at the bone. Everything looks cooked. It's literally cracked. Ow. Hot. Mm. Do I taste the buttermilk? A little bit. It's moist, I'll tell you that much. Forget about the actual flavor. Let's look at the moisture content. Mm. Oh. Oh yeah, that's where the magic is. Mmm, it's like that. No, oh, sorry. Oh yeah, you're slurping the chicken off the bone. One hundred percent soaked your chicken. One forty-two. It's almost like to the level of being actually done. Okay, lift, 
drip. Drag, and I'm putting them in order. So, this is the second piece, this is the, this is the second piece, this is the third piece, that's the last piece. And that can now go off. And that oil, uh, I may dump it, I have so much of it. Normally I would keep it around and use it for two or three more things, but like, uh, it's just gonna be dark. Everything you fry at the right temperature, the right temperature is gonna come out this dark, and I don't like that dark. Can we just talk about how juicy? Mm. Oh my god, so juicy. How much all four of these pieces of chicken were, by the way? Five dollars and eight cents. Stick that up your ass, KFC. I mean, it makes your fucking kitchen a mess, but. Wow. Here's that shitty part you're not supposed to eat. Did I just consume an entire chicken thigh? I just ate a leg quarter on camera. I don't usually do that. Chewbacca once ate a chicken leg, had to go to the vet because, um, well, she ate a fucking chicken leg, like the bone. She was young, stupid, and impressionable. Anyway, time to have some actual vegetables. No, wait, time to have some actual vegetables. I'll be doing with my hands. This is a success. The ones in there are probably gonna be even better because I didn't murder them in the oil. We'll see. Well, you won't see. I'll see. Uh, feel free to join the Cooking Consortium Patreon. Five dollars a month gets you into the private Telegram channel for just patrons. There's like 29 people in there now. It's really a happening place if you're talking about food or my sister will discuss how children die. It's great. And um, for more money a month, you can even possibly get into a cookie tier where my sister will bake you cookies uh, every three months. You pay more for that. You pay a lot for that. But you're, you're making my sister do things and send you her cookies. And I mean, she has to know your address. And you really want to trust someone you're not paying. No. I'll feed you. All right, I'm gonna go feed the cat and finish my chicken. Actually, I didn't finish a quarter. All right, whatever, Bob.